Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another episode of Little Modular. Today we will take a look at this fantastic unique filter by Metasonics. It is called RK6 and it is a resonant low pass filter. Which seems like nothing much unless I tell you that this is the most primitive filter design ever made. That's at least what the uh, guy behind the Metasonics, uh, Eric Barbour, told me that this, in fact, is the most primitive low-pass filter in the history of electronic music. What this means is that you won't find any integrated circuits or transistors in it. It's pure tube design, super raw and super primitive. Like most of the modules from the RK line, it's full of character and it is moody. It's not your ordinary surgical filter that you can take a full control of. You need to get your hands dirty with it. In most cases, you just need to let go and trust your ears and just, you know, fine tune the parameters until it sounds right. Really, it's nothing much to talk about if you take a look at the panel. You have the uh, audio input right here. Then we have the audio output right here. Okay. Then we have a tuning CVN and the resonance CVN. Frequency cutoff right here, resonance knob right here, and the uh, input gain right here. As far as it goes for tuning in, it's not volt per octave, it's more like a hertz per octave, but still not precise. So uh, let's start moving some sounds and discussing what could be done with this filter. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Borg by Maleko, meaning that it's also very aggressive and can scream a lot. And the uh, the screaming, the squelch of the filter uh, becomes uh, quite apparent in the mids and in the heights and not so much in the lows. It could of course self-oscillate, like so. Okay. So you can use it as a primitive source of audio also. But it could also act as a low pass gate, sort of. If you input something in here in the tuning CV and a trigger or a fast envelope, which I'll show you in a second. The main thing is that without the tuning CV in here, the cutoff range is really limited. Actually, it's just from here, that's the fully opened, up till 12 o'clock. I have a patch going on in here. This is a sequence of Metropolis, which is fueling my uh, Boomstar 4075 synthesizer, which has a filter fully opened, so it's not influencing our, our path. And look at that. 
up until now, I can't hear anything. And here, it's fully open. So the range is really tiny right here. And that's the recipe for any movements of parameters with this module. You have to be super, super careful, like tiny movements. We can overcome this limitation patching a CV offset in here. In my case, it is going to be a channel number two from the maths, fully open. Okay. And uh, if we input something in here, suddenly the range becomes a lot wider, just like a normal classical filter, just like you would expect. A full, nice and smooth response. It works like that by design, okay? Now we can adjust the resonance here. And again, you have to be really careful and the resonance works in conjunction with the uh, input. They influence each other. So it doesn't work that well in the lower range as I mentioned, so let's hear how it will sound in the upper range. I can modulate the uh, resonance, like so. What I discovered is that this sounds super nice with digital modules because you have this, you know, raw power, ground zero kind of sound from, from this filter. And you have digital, glassy, metallic sounds from something like, let's say, uh, the organ accumulator I have here. Now, let's see how that would work in the low pass gate mode. So what we need to do, we again, stick something in here, but instead of a fixed voltage, now I would stick, again, mats, but this time channel number four, really short, envelope and now uh, instead of the boom store I'll plug in the uh, organ right in here and you need to make sure that the resonance is minimal yep that's about right see you get this if you listen carefully you have this edgy razor sharp sound surrounding the uh, the source and I'm just moving the uh, tune knob it sounds like the Jerry do <laughs> like a really crazy digital tube the Jerry do it's, it's just awesome. I can now, of course, adjust the the envelope on the uh, on the mats. And you know, suddenly, organ accumulator, which was a super pure digital sound becomes a lot more friendly but at the same time aggressive or <laughs> just make some acid squelchy singing birds and totally change the character of it it takes a bit of time to get used to the fine moves that you need to apply to those parameters and it takes a bit time to actually find the sweet spots between the uh, resonance and the uh, input gain right here but once you play with it for half an hour or so you will find those really fast and again Tiny moves are your ticket to 
the Sonic Bliss. Now I change the modulation pattern on my LFO. As you can hear, it is not modulated right now, but I can modulate it like that. And a simple sound from Argon suddenly becomes a really nice groove. Sounds like this, really squelchy. Like this is the perfect balance between the punch of the Metasonics and the uh, digital nature of organ. Oh God, can you hear that? See, I've just twisted it a tiny bit. Listen to it. It just... See? That difference. Like a super, super small movements, And it just hits me in the head with this really gnarly resonance. It's, it's, it's crazy. And it's, you know, one sound. Haven't even touched the organ in minutes. So uh, you can do the same thing with pretty much every sound, percussion. Of course, instead of putting an envelope in here, or a trigger, uh, we can also um, modulate the uh, tuning CV, and, and we might end up with something like that. Let's make it faster. nothing stops us from uh, modulating the resonance at the same time and achieving something like that okay and again a simple sequence and we are having some super nice groove going on already just by modulating the two inputs. The other cool thing with this is that unlike the other modules from the RK series, this one needs a lot less of your power. So it actually uh, uses around 100 milliampers while operating and around 200 milliampers. So this is very neat. You can use that module even in a crowded, already filled uh, case, just like any other modules. No need for special uh, PSUs for it. Mm, so uh, I strongly encourage you to try that one. It looks primitive. It is primitive. Cool thing is that it's not a clone of anything. It doesn't pay an homage to any past designs. And it is something that has never actually been built before. And I am not aware of any other filter that would sound like this. So it does have its limitations. It's not a super flexible filter, but let's be honest, you're not buying a Metasonics filter for versatility. You're buying it for the balls, for the hair, for the edge and the razor blades that start to appear on the sound that is processed with that. Definitely give it a try, give it a spin and see if it's for you. Thank you for watching. If you like that video, please subscribe and like it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.